Combo! <laughs> okay, so welcome back to mine and Henry's Wrath of the Gods campaign in which we're going to be playing Battlefield Gothic. And it's been a while since we played Hunter. It has been a little while. Long yeah. summer. I'm going to blame Henry. He can blame me if he wants. It's pretty much my fault. <laughs> to be honest. Please, everyone shout him in the comments. Heap blame and hopefully try I to get I won't read the comments. It's fine. It's like, Billy Boots. Ah, the, the post and drop. The class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> ciao. I'm gone. So I will be reading the comments. So I will see all of the inane hatred. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to be playing the... What, what is it called? So this is um, scenario six from the uh, blue rule book called Convoy. Yes. I think it's called Convoy. It is called Convoy. No. Convoy! Convoy. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. It started. Yeah, so the Convoy mission, because everyone loves escorts. Um, and we don't use, not escorts, uh, everyone ships. loves transport ships. Yeah. We don't use transport ships often enough, I think, in Battlefleet Gothic in general. And I have more than uh, we're going to use today. So yes. thought we'd use them. Excellent. So this has a bit of a weird fleet selection it does thing. we we planned 1250 again haven't we so we yeah. got a 1250 list we've got everything <laughs> oh you here. actually yeah well, i had oh, i had not yeah I, I was turning up and going to write it on the night nice now i planned ahead of time um this afternoon about two hours ago um uh planned our 1250 lists uh, but the convoy mission is based on how many escort uh how many transport ships you yeah. want so uh basically you choose how many transport ships you want and then for every two transports the defender, which is me in this game. Yeah, because I you attacked last time. I did. And I'm now the attacker. Yeah, so the defender gets 100 points for every two um, transports. So we're trying to work out how many we wanted. We've gone with two, four, six, eight, ten transports. So that will give us 500 points worth of fleet to yes. play with. Um, so what did you actually take in your fleet for that then? So uh, because of a, a, a new model, a new version of a, a model I've used previously, I've made a new Grand Cruiser, um, which you can see on my Instagram, and you'll see on the little twirly thing. Which what is your Instagram? There, uh, at the Hobby Butterflies. Because um, people don't know that, you can't just assume people know. Uh, they'll, they might know, they will, we'll wave the dice about. But yeah, the Hobby Butterflies on Instagram, and uh, a website blog that I should probably update. Um, uh, I dabble in 3D uh, printing. Yeah, 3D printing and 3D kit bashing. So I 3D kit bashed a new um, Executor Grand Cruiser with some Slaneshi uh, upgrade parts that are not mine, they're someone else's. Um, but the Grand Cruiser parts have been cobbled together by me for a few different places. So I'm going to use that because it's a new ship and paint it just What's for today. What's it called? Uh, it's called Gloriam Tertio. So okay. glory to the third, um, and that's where my, that's my flagship for the fleet, and it's where my admiral is. So that's going to be leading the the foray. Quite a big chunk of points, 220 points, I think, 210 points, yeah. uh, which is quite a lot in my uh, my 500 point list. Um, and it's a, uh, supported by two of my escort squadrons. And I've gone with two sets of three Firestorms. Um, they do have a name. Uh, they are called Thika Kultry, um, uh, which is a Cult of Blades or something like that. Right. Some other um, uh, sure bastardized logo. Thika Ferrum. I don't know, possibly. I, I've got used, I got fed up with using the word ferrum because it'll upset you. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's the entire fleet. It, it's um, four normal transport, uh, sorry, four pairs of normal transports and uh, one of the cruiser transports, which are heavy transports, um, and then uh, escorted by those, uh, that capital ship and six escorts. Okay. So, opposing Henry, as he moved, we've actually selected our battlefield for this. The Curta Tertius section of the map will be where I'm like, attacking mm -hmm. and ambushing you, yeah. which is the asteroid field. Yeah. And lying in wait in the asteroid field is just a portion of my fleet, because yeah. obviously they're just hanging about. Yeah. So I've got the Judgment of Sharon mm -hmm. picked because... The defender, the defender yeah, list yeah, is yeah, equally explain, bizarre. Let's, so let's explain this. Once you've gone through <laughs> selecting your, your defender list, your attacker list is then based on a number of things. So you roll a D3, um, uh, and then you get uh, D, uh, that D3 plus uh, a certain number of rolls on the table. Those other rolls come from how many pairs of transports there are. So there's five pairs of transports. So you get five rolls plus the D3, which we had as uh, a one, or one thankfully. Yeah, work, work. So six <laughs> rolls on a D6 table. And the D6 table gives you... It gives you either torpedoes, yeah. attack craft, bombers, capital ship worth up to 200 yeah. points, or escort squadrons. Yeah, there's two options for escort, 100 and 150 points. So you can end up with a bit of a 
it's one of those bizarre random things that was in a lot of old GW products, but you could end up with your entire fleet just being attack craft. Or your entire fleet just being capital ships. It, it, just... Well, we already know, oh, it could still be all capital ships. It could. Yeah. If you roll, if, if when you rolled your six dice, you got all sixes, so six sixes on your roll, you could have had six capital ships. But so, I didn't. Yeah, but so, you didn't. <laughs> Yes. So I actually got the Judgment of Sharon picked mm -hmm. from my uh, master fleet list. Mm -hmm. Because it had the coolest name that wasn't currently in repairs. Yep. Reasonable. Or the most powerful name. Okay. Most powerful. The strongest so, name. Yeah, the Judgment of Sharon is a Chaos Murder class mm -hmm. with leadership eight. Nice. I then got three squadrons of escorts, mm -hmm. which are the Echoes the Echoes of Spite. Go say it in the Batman voice. Which are idolators. Mm -hmm. There's three of them. And they've got leadership nine. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they're really good. I've then got two squadrons of four Cobras. With leadership eight uh, and seven, Robert. which are the Reapers of Remus and the Sentinels of Melos with leadership eight and seven, respectively. Very good. Okay. And then also got, as you know, yep. but you don't know, I then also got four, yeah, yeah, four yeah. total markers that I can split between fighters, bombers, or torpedo clusters. Yeah, now th this is again where it gets a bit bizarre. So the. Essentially, we, we have from the original BFG game the little tiny markers, which you can do a close-up of rather than me leaning into camera. No, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so these little markers came with the original BFG. not used them before, but essentially when, uh, when these are revealed, and we'll, we'll cover how they're revealed in a bit, when they're revealed, they can become uh, one of the things from your list. And if they end up being the, the torpedo markers or the fighters, bombers, whatever they are, yeah. you get D3 of those, or D6 plus 2 for torpedoes. Yeah. So suddenly... So they're pretty tasty. They really. can be very tasty indeed. You can end up with yeah. a lot of stuff on the board. And essentially how I activate is I deploy all my markers on the board wherever I want. Mm -hmm. And then if you move within 30 centimetres, you immediately activate that marker yep. and reveal what it is in your turn. Yes. So you sort of get the drop on them. Mm -hmm. At the start of every one of my turns, I can activate one marker, mm -hmm. and that becomes part of my force it that does. is active. If you were on special orders, I get to activate two yeah. markers, so you might be avoiding special orders. And the mission is essentially go from one side of the board to the other. Get from A to B. So going on special orders to get that all ahead full could be really useful for you. It could. But then again, it oh, reveals deadly. it. Oh, it's, it's, it's that thing of you sneak until you reveal the badness and then you, you like just it. run because it matter anyway. Cheese it. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the transport's pretty slow. So I think it's been an interesting game. Yeah. And if you do enjoy watching the game, hit like, comment, subscribe. It lets me and you as well know that you guys have enjoyed this content and therefore we will make more of it rather than the other games which are rubbish and you guys hate. Yeah. That's the, a good way I of saying so. it, right? Yeah, they they despise much. every other game yeah. system. If you like this, it means you don't like anything else GW has produced and you need Battlefleet Gothic. Or any other company of everybody. Or any other company. Other companies are available. Yeah. And if you really like the video, there is a Patreon link below where you can get the bouncy tray, mm. which we'll be using in this game. It gets you access to the Discord server, which we'll be keeping up with the campaign, hopefully going forward. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's been... If you I mean, like it. Well, the Discord has popped up since we last played again. It has, yeah. Yeah. True. So that will be added into their uh, ongoing campaign, as well as a War Office link, which is below for the affiliate link. Mm. Click it for 30% off, yeah. I suppose, on new releases. Chunky discounts. And we will get into the game with that. Yeah. Catch you there. Okay, so this is the table. Like with a lot of Battlefleet tables, it looks quite bare, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. We're used to this sort of board with... 6,000 points of heresy on it and all the terrain, right? Yeah. Well, at least I got this new map for this, like for us to play campaigns over, basically. That doesn't have Endor on it. Yes, it's not the Endor map. But I got this from Deep Cut Studios and it looks absolutely lovely. It does. Really like the... the just the nebula, colour palette. The is nebulae. Just, and the colour palette with your asteroids is just... Mm, it's perfect. Well, I'm, I'm not too... I need, the asteroids need repainting. They're letting me down. Wow. But we've got Big Pete's... What what we call it? It's not a truck stop, ship stop. <laughs> ship stop. <laughs> um, yeah. Big Pete's ship stop. Big Pete's. Big Pete's permanent orbital. <laughs> Big or, Pete's orbital. Because it's round. It should be like a donut shack or something. Big Pete's donut shack. Big right. Pete's permanent. 
Big Pete's Pies. Big Pete's Pies. Big Pete's Pies. So we've got, so we've got Big, Big Pete's, Pete's Pies, pies. <laughs> next to the planetoid. Yes. Big Pete's Interplanetary Pies. Love it. Saucer. Planetary Pies. We'll cut yeah. this. So Big Pete's Planetary Pies is at one side of the board, yep. of which Henry's troop transports are trying to get on from the other. Mm-hmm. I actually deployed my forces first, but it was all blips, yeah. so Henry didn't know anything about where... Where they, they knew where Other they than there's a big cluster yeah. in the middle, don't know what's under any of them. Yes, so I've got a marker here, a marker here. So I, I, I've got a line of five markers across mm-hmm. the table, and then two going out either way. Like a sort big Sort of like cluster. linebacker. Whatever from, is yeah, in front of the defensive short, line. Short, short, stop Not sure playing. anyone's in front of the line. I'm, I'm going to cross-reference a load of different sports. The American yeah. football. So, what, what's You've not watched one? Super Bowl recently, have you? Because what's the what's what cricket what, one? The cricket one where they stand right in front of the batter. Oh no idea, mate. Don't watch cricket. Oh right, okay. Like this, the silly, the silly end. Or yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, there's one that will be immediately activated in it will. turn. It will indeed. That we're going to get into. Right now. Right now. Echo Shield turn one. So ships move on from there. Um, and we've decided the the rule book doesn't really cover how that works. So we've gone. Oh, we don't think it does. No, oh, we don't think. We, uh, there's no index. So what are you going to do? So we're going to, rather than have a load of my fleet not come on or just all come on at once from that point, we've decided we're going to do GW Classic. So we're going to do three up for each thing, see if they come on. And then the same on turn two, and if I fail three ups on each turn, then that particular thing doesn't come in. I, I, no, that's not why. I, I I think we should do everything just comes in turn two. I don't okay. want to win by you just having bad right. rolls for two. So turns. we'll do we'll do three ups now. Like, Things are getting three up now. If, come when on. you fail like ten three ups, and then it's the next video. turn fail ten three ups. Yes, yeah, fair enough. You'll feel bad. Like, yeah. Right, in that case, so we it's will... It's only the heresy games that are allowed to end after two turns. Uh, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. So <laughs> we shall... <laughs> we shall Yeah, we shall do some rolls for um, Gloria and Tertio. Yeah. It's going to be the first big boy. Into the bounty tray. Into the bounty tray. Comes on. It does come on. We're too. going to do uh, the heavy transport, which comes in. Yep. We're going to do uh, blue firestorms, and we're going to do uh, gold firestorms. Who so don't come in. Yeah. So gold don't come in. And then we have uh, eight. four more pairs. Or we're going to do eight individuals. Whichever you want to do. Let's do eight individuals and we'll see how many of the eight transports come in. So that oh, is 50 50. I'll take that. Yeah. So we have why a... will you take less than average? <laughs> so we you, have. You've come to expect failure. <laughs> I know, exactly. Was it gold that isn't coming in? Gold Gold's not coming in. Coming in. So we have. The green firestorms are coming in. We have the heavy transports and four other transports. And we will get back to everyone yes. with their final positions, I think. So Henry's fleet has lined up. And you're going to do your movements, aren't you? And I am. And as soon as you move one thing, I'm going to jump in and tell you what that mark yeah. is. Yeah, so 30 centimetres to there is just in front of there. So it's going to start moving forward. Grand Cruiser has got movement 20. So I'm going to do that first 10, and we're going to activate there. So I'll move it to the 10. Yeah. Because that would now immediately activate. So you're not moving revealed. any further than that this turn? No, I will be doing I'll turn and move over there. But right. it's the second you get within 30. It's can I have thing. some torpedo markers, please? Thanks. You can have some torpedo markers. Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> so seven, yes. So torpedoes. for torpedoes, um, you need to roll D6 plus two. With my high contrast dice. D6 plus two. So six total torpedoes. So here is your six torpedoes. And I'm going to put them. So you see now it's got the quandary of mm. do I angle them to try and catch some escort some transports? Or do I just go for your cap go for the capital ship? Straight in. So in, I need to be careful because the next ordnance phase, they move 30 centimetres forward. Yes, yeah, in your which is ordnance phase. Immediately going to hit me. So the 45 degree turn is going to go that way. Still going to hit me. And it now means they are going to have to scarper. So we've got our heavy transport, 15 centimetre. So the heavy transport is going to go 10, 45, and 5. The normal transports 
Transports. We're going to go 10, and they're not going to turn, actually. They're just going to go 15. Okay. And just bunch up, which is perhaps unwise. But Well, you know I've not got a Nova Cannon, so... Well, yeah, so <laughs> that's... Uh, it's going to be handy. So they're going to go over there. With my joinery level guessing. And the Firestorms, I think it's going to go straight ahead. And notice I've not done any special orders, because I'm not going to give you the satisfaction. Okay. And that's my movement phase. They can stay there. Okay, so, uh, in your shooting phase, you don't shoot at anything? No, I, I mean, I can try and shoot at the uh, the torpedo markers, but... Which I might do. I'm trying to shoot the torpedo markers. Uh, yeah. Because why not? So, shooting at Ordnance, we're going to start with the Firestorms. Prow weapon batteries, firepower three each. So the three Firestorms, um, weapon battery strength nine goes yep. to a two, which then has a common shift to the left within 15, which is going to be three dice, fishing for sixes. You get and we six. get a six. And I imagine that triggers all of the I torpedoes. I think it does. It's fired on by direct weapons and any hits are scored. So the torpedoes explode and cause no further problems. Boom. Uh, I don't have any ordnance to launch, uh, no. so I've not got anything to repair, so it's now going on to your turn one. So in Iron Warriors turn one, I'm going to activate marker number four, mm -hmm. which is the judgment. Which is here, mm. because I've already actually looked at them. You have. You could have made that look so slick there. I, I prefer being honest with people. Fair enough. It's, it's the lovable persona that I'm trying oh, to Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> Fair enough. That well-known lovable persona. What are you saying? Nothing. <laughs> so the Judgment has 60 centimeter prow lances, 45 centimeter side weapons. And I reckon that's going to be enough to start skirting round mm -hmm. your ships. But do I want to go with lances? I sort of do. Oh. Are they up front only, or are they not they front are left right? They are prow. But that's often front left right, no? No, just front. Really? Oh. Prow. Dorsal is front left right. So yeah, the judgment is going to go to here. Oh, he's not going to go to there. Yeah. He's going he to... He starts there. Yeah, start there. And move a measly 10 centimetres forwards. And just turn a little bit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing that oh. that is hopefully 60 centimetres. And my rule is 30, so luckily it's very easy to calculate. It is, or you can use Yours 45. Yours is 45. Which is not unreadable. a uh, Yeah, and illegible, <laughs> yes, correct. So the whippy stick is not being used today. Oh. The prow lances are going to go into your troop transports. Okay. Because I fancy taking them out at some yeah. point in this game. And my weapons batteries on the side... And it's the left, so it's the port, mm -hmm. are going to go into your firestorms. Larboard. <laughs> the larboard side, which is actually the word you informed me today. It is. So the, with that You're being be 30 in. centimetres, I'm definitely I would say so. Lances. And 30 centimetres plus another 15, I'm definitely in. Oh, the finally a use for the whippy sticks is exactly 45 centimetres. You're in. <laughs> So they are being used what? today. They are. What do you want to shoot at first? I'm going to find my prow lances first, please, mm -hmm. Henry. So I've got two prow lances. I have a palmer. Okay, so the leadership test for the judgment is leadership eight mm -hmm. to shoot at the troop transports yep. rather than your... Grand Cruiser. What is it called, though? Gloriam Tertio. Gloriam Tertio. So the leadership test at leadership eight. Oh, he loves it. Easy. So I shoot two lances at the troop transports. Double three, bad times, need fours. Ooh. See, Iron Warriors, you need solid shot. Yeah, well, that will come now. And I'm firing strength 10 batteries from the larboard. Yep. At escorts closing slots. more than 30 centimetres away, which we worked out was. Four. I was going to let you say it and sound like yeah, that. I couldn't, I couldn't remember what it was then. So. <laughs> uh, one. one. <laughs> so one shield goes down, but it slows does. your. Does indeed. Excellent. And on the front one, that goes there, presumably. Yes. And then that will be over to you, Henry. A uh, turn two. Is there a turn limit on this game? No. No. Okay. So the game length, the battle continues until the last transport leaves the table or is destroyed. This could be a okay. very long game. And for children, turn two, we have escorts and the remaining falchions are going to come on. So the falchions are going to come on... 
also on the same side and the transports are going to come on in two groups of two because I'm going to not put all my eggs in one proverbial basket because we need to get some eggs to the burger shop yes to make but maybe it's a bacon butty shop and they're having eggs and bacon maybe you could say just an egg shop I mean it could be a calf could be a calf a space could egg. be a, a space calf a space greasy spoon so we're going to do some uh, Order. special orders ooh because I'm not going to get within 30 centimetres to activate anything else this turn. So if I go on special orders, you'll only be able to activate two things. <laughs> Looks classy <laughs> on camera. You're going to be able to activate two things because I'm going to go on special orders. But we're going to start with some all ahead full rolls for some transports. Okay. We don't currently have leaderships. One thing we forgot to do when we brought the transports on was roll their randomly determined leadership. So we've rolled those, got some really good rolls that so actually all of the transports have a higher leadership than all of the Emperor's children. Okay. Um, Emperor's Children being the skaven of the uh, the 30k, 40k universe. Well, so, I think it's just more the fact that they're too busy pleasuring themselves on the ship. Yeah. yeah. And they don't want to ruin the pleasure. So at the first By chance, doing ship stuff. By doing ship stuff, like <laughs> yeah, turning ship stuff. the ship, ship stuff. making the engine go. Um, so we're going to do some uh, all head full rolls for transports. Now, they uh, transports have negative one to their leadership because they're transports, uh, and they also only roll 3d6 for the all head full distance. So... We're going to go with the large squadron at the front of four escorts, leadership nine, go down to eight, so they've passed and all ahead full. We're going to then do the same with the orange group behind them, all ahead full, they're also leadership eight, so they passed. We're going to do all ahead full for the guys at the back with the red and white prow, which is also a pass for all ahead full. Ooh, just about. I know, just right. And then the last one, which is leadership six for the big transport, is also all ahead full. And he doesn't pass, which then means oh. no more special oh, orders. No. Yes. But I can get enough of the transports up the board, I think. Yes. Maybe. Maybe, possibly. Hopefully not. So let's do, while we're rolling dice into a tray, let's do the all ahead full rolls for those. Two is not three. So all ahead full uh, roll for the front squadron. So they're going to go there 15 centimetres plus 12. 12 which is quite a long way for some little escorts. Whee! I said I wasn't going to get within 30 centimetres of you, but I've got a feeling we might actually not be too far off. Um, we're going to do the same for the guys at the back. Uh, 11, so 26. Yeah. And then on to... Guys at the back. Ooh. 14. So 29. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> 14 total. Hang on. I've lost movement. So at this pace, it'll only take you till turn 10. I know, right? It's a long board. <laughs> We're having the debate about board sizes for BFG, which we still can't quite get ahead around. Um, Heavy transport, 15 centimetres. Is just going to go 15 and try and hide at the back there. Let's put that marker there with them. The Grand Cruiser is going to do 10 and then a turn and 10. So we're going to go 10, a turn and 10. So we're moving, we've sort of cut across the rest of the line to get a full broadside on the front of uh, the Iron Warriors capital ship, yes. Sharon. Uh, and then the remaining movement, these guys are going to go through a blast marker. So they lose... Five centimetres. centimetres. Yeah, five centimetres of movement. So their 25 is now 20, but they're also going to do a little turn. So they're going to go 10, and a turn, and 10. Mm. Which I might be able to get away with that hitting that asteroid. Yeah, I think you have. Just about, well, they're, they're, at 45 degrees they're going to end up in a, a conga line, aren't they? But I'm going to put them together so they are actually getting the shield benefit. Um, and then the guys at the back are going to... Move on. Yeah, and I think they're probably going to do... They're going to follow the same path, I think, but they might go... Do a little turn just so that they try not to contact that go blast down, marker go straight away. Go the, the asteroid field. Well, I, I want to try and get a little a little purple curtain, as it were. That, that sounds right, okay. a little bit suspicious, but a little purple curtain that's going to come around that edge. <laughs> um, so that's movement for the Empress children. So yeah. we're going to do some shooting. Okay. And I think we may as well waste the transport ships shooting first of all. Do they actually have shooting? 
They do. They have a dorsal weapons battery, front left right, 15 centimetres, strength 2. We're going to move on to the Firestorm, so we're going to do the next part of shooting. So we're going to use the front Firestorm squadron. Yeah. Um, Firestorms are, uh, again, the Impetual have got heavy lances today. So they have a lance each and a uh, front left right weapon battery, strength 2 each. Okay. So they're going to shoot the side of this capital ship, they're in front arc, and they're all going to be in range because it's 30 centimetres. Okay, and no one else. So I'll just use the 30 centimetre stick. Because then you can see with your human eyes. Yeah, because people, people can actually... <laughs> maybe they can't read what's on the stick, but that's the 30 centimetre stick. As opposed to indeterminate blue length exactly. with blue writing and blue lines. So we have um, uh, strength six shooting at... Uh, capital ship. A beam. A beam. So capital a beam six is a two, and we are not over 30, but we're not within 15, so it's just two. Okay. So two dice, fishing for fives. Nothing. No. Um, the guys at the back are too far away, but I'm going to do the same with some lances. So three lance shots, that mystery. So um, three lances at the... Uh, judgment. The Judgment of Sharon, fishing for fours this time. That's a bit better. Two shields go down. Two shields go down, and of your presumably three shields? Two. Two because shields. Just a, just a normal murder class, Henry. It's exactly what we want, because the next round of shooting is going to be the Executor Grand Cruiser, which has port and starboard weapon batteries at 30 and 45, 4 and 2, respectively. So if I can borrow your 30 centimetre stick, please, sir. We are out of 30 centimetres. So it's just two lance shots. Okay. So two lance shots at the Judgment of Sharon. Fours. Oh. Two hits. Oh. Let's roll to see if they crit. Yes. Is this a... Well, these fours as well. So sixes. Do you want to brace for impact? We have, as usual, forgotten the brace for impact. Yeah, you've We're... not forgotten it. I wasn't going to brace, but I sort of... No. No? No, because I wasn't going to. See, if we get some crits, we get one crit. You don't. No? Because it's a six to get a crit. It's a six to get crits. Balls. Oh, it's... Uh... It's a four yes. bombardment cannons. Bombardment cannons to to hit. So they act like weapon batteries, but they get... It's always a four for the armor bowl. Do they crit on a four? They also crit on a four. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. weapon batteries are amazing. Not weapon batteries, bombardment cannons. Yes, so two are. hull points on the Judgment of Sharon. And the Judgment goes down to six hull points remaining. <laughs> Good oh. Uh, Some mighty fine you shooting. And, you and your lances. I know, right? Not wanting to play the positioning game. Nope. None of this positioning nonsense. Not, none of these tactics. So that's over to Iron Warriors. Turn two. Mm. Of which, because you, Henry, are on special orders, yes. I get to reveal two yeah. ships. So the Echoes of Spite mm -hmm. have turned on their engines. Switched off running silent. Yeah, come to full power and revealed themselves to be here. My Cobras, the... Which ones are the... They're the high leadership ones, because they're high on the bases. Yes. The Reapers... Okay. Have revealed themselves to be here, so that means there's only actually one other normal, yeah, thing other of ship ships. Group. Yeah, yeah. So in my turn, I'm going to get to movement. I'm not going to get to movement. I'm going to special orders. I sort of want to lock on mm. with with the judgment, but that will lock me on course, which I don't. I also don't really want to do. Yeah, I'm going to lock on Ooh. with the Judgment. The Judgment is Leadership 8 mm -hmm. plus 1, because you're on Special Correct. Orders. So I've got Leadership 9. Just by the skin of and your I teeth. I do it, yes. So I've got Judgment. I've, the Judgment here is locked on. My Cobras don't need to lock on. And the Echoes are going to lock on as well. Ooh. So the Echoes are Leadership 9, so go to Leadership 10 for your I'm just going to put that there then. Yes, they get it, surprisingly. Amazing. So the Echoes have movement of 30. Mm -hmm. And they're going to plough right down the guts. Do you want me to help? Is yes, it please. Directly at your... Actually, I've got 30 centimetre range on my guts. Mm, cunning. I'm going to go to here, just behind this marker. Mm-hmm. And do I reckon that's 30 centimetres? You have to go 15. I have to go 10. 
Oh, they're 20 centimetre. No, uh, 30 centimetre range. Speed half to full. So the echoes with Henry allowing me to not do stupid. <laughs> end up not to do like stupid. <laughs> yeah. And then my cobras move 25 forwards and are also just going to plough it down. Mm -hmm. Of which I fancy moving quite far with these, actually, because they've got... If you start moving round, I want to be able to follow you yeah. with my cobras. You're also an insta-torpedo major. Yeah. Well, exactly. Exactly. Which is... Good. Tasty. Yes. So, onto the shooting page. Oh, no. The judgment hasn't moved. Yes. So, it goes... That's the one I want to come closer. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to go 15 directly forwards to here. Mm-hmm. With my lock-on orders. Yes. So, the judgment is going to start by... Firing everything into, into your the escorts. Oh, the transports, yeah, okay. Yeah. Because mm. I don't need to survive. All I need to do is kill them. Yep. Escort. Very, very true. How many shields does your Grand Cruiser have? Three into it yeah. for a Grand Cruiser. Three shields for a Grand Cruiser and yeah, so I can't ten do, hull points. There's no point because even if I get my two lances to wound your... Oh, I've, right, so what I'll do... The weapon battery the shields down and the lance through yeah, the but shields. But I can't get all of those things in arc. Oh, because they're left, right, yeah. And yeah. Course, How many you... shields does your heavy transport have? The heavy transport has two. Cruiser two. Two. So also no point doing anything into that. No. So I'm going but to... you can pop a I'm... great many escorts. Yes. So I'm going to do my weapon strength 10 mm -hmm. into your transports first. And uh, that will be yep. four. And I'm within 15 centimetres. So 10... Oh, I'm not it within 15. 10 so closing four. escorts is 5. Is 5? Mm. Ooh, was I a beam of your firestorms last turn? Because I only rolled 4. Correct. You didn't roll enough dice. Yeah. Shout at us in the comments. Yes. <laughs> so it's so 5 dice into the transports here. And I imagine your armour is 4. Uh, it's... Far... Far... Ah. <laughs> ah. Five. Five. So I need to re-roll three mm. for my lock-ons. And I get just as dismal rolls. So I two. do two, which takes a shield and destroys one. Yep. Uh, which of the front two would you like to die? The one on the left, please. Oh, this left. Your left. Front left. <laughs> like that, presumably. Or do you want to do... Wood. Well, it'll have to be on that one, won't it? We can put it there, because then it touches that one. Yes, that one. And then I'm going to do the two lances... Yep. And I'm going to re-roll them. Yes. One, which destroys the port. Port? Transport. Oh, yes. You're shooting the transport still, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you worry. Oh. I'm shooting these transports. And I need a explosion marker. Next, can I have one of your whippy sticks, please? You can have a whippy stick. My idolators... Do you know what? Everyone's going to fire into your firestorms. I don't like them being around. Cool. So my idolators are going to start by firing their... Start by firing their lances into your firestorms. Mm -hmm. So that's 30 centimetre range. Oh, look, I'm out, but I was going to declare it anyway. Okay. Just in case. Yeah. Do you know, just in case yeah, I had yeah. a wild... <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. ...thing. And then I've got... Three strength two batteries combining into strength, strength six. six from 45 centimeter range, which I am in. So, you're is that shooting into closing escorts? Closing escorts. I mean, you've got six, eight, yeah. six, six, six escorts closing is three with a right shift to be more than 30 centimeters is two dice. And I'm mm. not going to break. And I think there's another right shift because I'm firing through a blast marker. With oh, with one points. of them. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, target behind intervening blast markers. How does that work then? If one of them shoots through blast markers and the other two don't shoot through blast markers? Is if is there less dice if you right column shift? Yes, yeah, so if you right column shift, you go from two to one. Right, let's just roll that then. All right. Yay. And they locked on. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yay for blast markers. Next, my Cobras are going to do exactly the same. Mm -hmm. With their strength... Three strength one batteries into 
Uh, Your fire storms. Yeah, so strength three escorts a beam. Um, you're not going to get... Are you within 15? 15? But I should be one either way. It's one... No. Yeah. So one dice. I'm also not going to brace. No. Cool. <laughs> uh, Damn fine, going to be. <laughs> yes. Yes. So with this situation here, you actually looked it up as well. Yes. The numbers work The numbers yeah. work out the same. So squadron shooting, they say you combine the weapons battery, unless you have different arcs, you can't see, there's other intervening things, and then you separate them. So separating them out, the two firing without the blast markers would end up being a one, and the one shooting through the blast markers at that range is one of the few occasions when it does end up being zero, so it would still have been one dice. Cool. I'm going to launch... All the torpedoes. All the torpedoes, and they're going to immediately impact. They are. How many torpedoes do you launch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eight. Eight total? Yeah. There are two torpedoes each. Yeah, Cobras. Ah, ah Cobras. Um, right, so strength eight hits them. Um, so I have turrets. Yeah, so firestorms have two turrets each. They're in base base contact. So the first one gets two turrets plus one for being in base contact with some other turrets. Yeah. The ordnance defense is against turrets. So uh, turrets versus torpedo salvos. Roll a d6 for each turret. That's three dice. Uh, each turret that scores a four, five, or six reduces the torpedo salvo strength by one. Yeah. So you're still going to get a lot of torpedoes impact in this first one. So three dice. And I do reduce it by two, so, so down to six. six. So six torpedoes impact onto the first one. Torpedoes ignore shields. Yep. And three. Impact. Yep. Uh, which is, I'm not braced for impact, so that's one, so that one's down. The remaining three go into the next ship, don't they? Yes. Yes. So that then has three turrets. It does. So basically I just overkilled that one because I didn't actually want to use that many. <laughs> no. Uh, so the next one, three turrets against the remaining three. Takes down two more. So one goes through. One goes through, and it's dead. And it's gone. And it's gone. With one blast marker. Yeah. And that is all my... Ordnance. Ordnance, yeah. Not as effective as I wanted. No. Actually. And there's no cripples or anything to repair, so we're moving on to Empress Children turn three. Yes. Right, so Empress Children turn three. And all of your ships on the board, aren't they? All the ships are on the board. So we are going to do some special orders, because all of these go away to immediately come back. So leadership of the, the group, which were four. Um, so they are some rolls for all head full. So we have the orange boys at the back are leadership eight. eight including and, the minus one. Including the minus one. And you're on special orders, so they go to leadership nine. So they're going to do all the head full into some blast markers. They passed. The next ones, they're going to be leadership now. Right, so it's eight. Eight, negative plus, one, plus one. Yes, so eight. So eight. They pass as well. Oh, stop passing. We're going to do leadership seven. Yep. Goes to eight because of your special orders. And they pass. And funnily enough, they're also doing all head full. And your heavy transport? Heavy transport is uh, seven, six... Seven. Yeah. Leadership seven. All ahead full. Passed. Ooh. A lot so of special orders going to lock on orders. So I'm going to start with, in that case, the next leadership is going to be Gloria Tertio. Leadership eight because of the Admiral. He's going to go into a lock on order, funnily enough. Which is a pass. A pass? A pass? A mighty pass. Uh, and we're going to do lock on orders with the firestorms at the back. My firestorms are all replacements. Well, uh, these ones are anyway. So they are leadership six. six. Seven, because I'm on specials. Leadership seven for the guys at the back. That's a fail. So no lock on orders for the falchions. So, moving on to... Is your admiral in this game? By yeah, the way? he's still in there. Actual admiral. Actual admiral, admiral. admiral. Yeah, because he's, he's on So that... you have got a re-roll at some point in this game. Ooh. Whereas my admiral is not on the board because the Semper K is yes. in the pairs. Because I think so we were I being... suppose we, we were chopping it about but it doesn't seem right to do but to I... do that in it where like when my guys are waiting in ambush and it's like, oh you could have just gone a different route, maybe Yeah, possibly maybe maybe my Admiral I, is My Admiral's else. always staying on, on that one now because that's my big punchy ship. Because there is there's a battle cruiser and there's that I'm toying with you can cut this if you like. The um 
I can't decide whether I want to put the battleship that I do have as the remaining bit of my fleet, because it basically fits really nice with like 20 points left. Put a battleship in the remaining bit. Or they want to put like, that I've not chosen that last like 400 points, whatever it is. Or they'll put in a load of light cruisers. Because mm. I like the, the, the light cruisers that are released for like a week that had the side panels and the boss pattern prow. I like those. See, whereas I've got some dauntless light cruisers that have been chaosified. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Do you know, like, just made in, not like tentacles and stuff, yeah. but just chaos shipified. Nice. So, light cruiser matter. I might chuck a load of light cruisers in then, because that yeah. can then be the big boy ship and he can yeah. just stay on there. Anyway, right, so, um, I'm not going to use my Admiral Revolve for that, they, it will come in later. So, has to go half to full, so he's going to go 10 centimetres, and I can't turn because of lock on orders. We need to do the crazy dice now, as it shall now be called. So, crazy. 15 plus 3d6 minus 5. Is it minus 5 total for moving through blast markers? Otherwise, you grind to a complete halt. Yes, that's true. Yeah. You'd just be stuck. So, 10 plus that. Ooh, tasty. Ooh, 12, 22. Plus 14. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 20... Apparently, I only count in decimals now. Yeah. In decimals? <laughs> yeah. 10. 100. So we're going to be doing a little bit of cozying up here. So it's going to sit there on your stem. Can you actually sit on someone else's base? Not that no. I care. No, not I that he's going to ma- No, no, not that he's going to matter at all. He'll just go slower then. Uh, these guys at the back are going to end up going through that. So I'm going to include that minus five. So 10 and are seven. Are you even going to reach it? 17. I am just. I'm going to reach it. in the markers. Yeah, no, that's not quite what I wanted, but we'll live with it. Um, these guys are going to, again, just go all ahead full and just kind of risk the uh, the bane of those blast... Well, they're already going all ahead full, so I'm going to have a choice. So seven. Ooh, so it would be... It would be 22, but I'll hit the blast markers, so it goes down to 16. The land in the blast markers. The land in the blast markers. Great. Looks like this is going to be a short game. Yeah, no shields for these guys, which is not so good. Um, Next, your heavy transport. Heavy transport. Oh, Lord. A long way. So, 26, 29. Go and sit over there. And I'm just going to double check. You're not within 30. No. Uh, that's within 30 of that, though. It is. So that is revealed to be torpedoes. D6 plus two torpedoes. Oh, thank God. Three. And I should take the dice out of that tray before rolling. So there's your three torpedo marker. Oh, yeah, you want to go that way? It makes sense to actually use the three torpedo markers. So I brought them all this way. Think of the extra fuel I've used. It's going to go directly towards these transports here. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a problem. Um, so we're going to do a turn and... So half a 25. So the turn, it's going to go through that. So half a 20 is 10, which makes it easy. But I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go the full 20. So it matter. And then these guys are going to go again because of... Ooh, we've got some... You're going to immediately go through a blast marker unless you turn away to your... So these guys are going to go... <laughs> is it the lab? <laughs> 20 and a turn. And you've got a to turn and 20... Tests. If what? I contact them. It's if you go within an asteroid field. Oh, yeah, okay, cool, fine. Let's not explode. So we're going to turn and go into there. So we're avoiding the blast marker. We need to... Are we saying that the within the field is within the border of yeah, the yeah, things? Yeah, 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 okay, cool. What's the test of going in the asteroid field? Other, otherwise it would be mental. <laughs> so Henry has foolishly entered the... Asteroid field. I'll let you take it back if you want. No, it's fine. Right, so leadership six... Is it per ship? Per ship. Per ship. So, front boy, pass. pass. Second boy, pass. Third boy, oh. Oh. six. Pass. <laughs> Mad skills. Because we've got a depth trimsman on the big ship. Ooh, is that so what it is? It's just, it's just oozing out, which is a very Empress Children way of conveying information. Oozing. oozing. Oozing, darling. Right, so we have done lots of all ahead full, which means we are weapons at half effect. Yes. So our transport ships are going to do a bit of shooting, just to okay. try and pink off any shields possible. So we have 
these two are one weapon battery each, and they are shooting at oh, a yeah. and a beam capital. Two capital and weapon strength one because they're half strength because they. Oh, you say yeah. So two each going down to one. So a total of two. Capital ship a beam is one with a left shift for being close touching. So that's one dice for okay. this front group of uh, transports, which does nothing. The next guys, I think, are going to be more than 15. So 15 is where my finger is, because no one can see. We are over 15 to the stem. So we are uh, one each, so two... A beam? Yeah. Oh, no. I'd say, because... Uh, I, can, I can shoot into your front arc with one of them. Do you want to do them separately? <laughs> okay. And the other one is one capital, a beam is one, and there's no shift, because it's not shooting through a black... Uh, it... Yeah, mm. So you do them separately and get two? Yeah, all right, we'll do them separately and get two. Separately, no. none. Damn. Uh, and all, then... Also damn, because I, I have a sneaky plan. Go on then, fire your final one. You have a sneaky plan, do you? Yeah, go on. All right, uh, these guys at the back are going to... That's here. Yes, sorry, big pardon. So the blue one with the, uh, the red and white prow. Uh, they are more than 15 and they are both uh, capital a beam. Yeah. So a total of two... Capital a beam is one, just one. Yeah. No. Oh, such a shame. I wanted to place a blast marker on your final two transports. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Fine. Um, so that was ineffective shooting from them. Uh, we do have the heavy transport, but it's at 15 centimetres. So... The Gloriam. Gloriam Tertio. Let's do the Firestorms first. We're going to do the firestorms. All the firestorms are going to shoot into the cobras. Okay. Oh, cobras. Because um, that's, that's going to be the exciting shooting, whereas firestorms aren't that exciting. So the weapon batteries, we have... Well, from the rear yeah. ones... Yeah. Let's do the front one, in case of blast my <laughs> Make up your mind! <laughs> lots of cutting, lots of editing. So the front firestorm on its own is weapon battery two into escorts closing is one... With a left shift for being so close, is still one dice. Okay. It doesn't... Oh, cobras. It does a shield. A shield. Which is why the blast marker is a problem. It's going to go into that one. I'm going to place it. Do you place it? Well, you've placed all of them. Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> that seems, so that seems fair enough. It in this angle. So his... So it gets us both. So the lance. <laughs> fair enough. The lance is then going to shoot the front of you. Yep. So it's going to shoot that same one there. It's it doesn't. Miss. There's nothing. So the guys at the back are we are uh, six escort closing three, and we're not within fifteen to get a left shift. So it's three dice. So fifteen is there. So you probably just out. Just out. We're just out of the stand deck. Yeah, I think one one might be, but the other two aren't. So I'm not splitting the fire again. So threes, not three, three dice rather. One, okay. uh, which on the front one is a blast marker. Yes. I'll let you place this blast marker, because it makes you happy. You know what we've not been doing at the end of each turn? Removing blast markers. Removing blast markers. <laughs> we've not been removing blast markers. Um, God damn it! So, lances from the firestorms at the Cobras. No, there's now no shields at the front. So, fours. Nothing. <sighs> Nothing at Excellent. all. Bad lancing. So, we're going to go into some good lancing now. So, Gloriam Tertio is going to lance uh, the Sharon, or whatever it was called. Judgment, yeah. Judgment of Sharon. Well, it is the Judgment of Sharon, but... It is. Yeah. You can range. call it the Sharon if you want. The, ju the judgment. judgment of Sharon. Sounds better. Uh, so we have now a total of six lances against this. Now you've got your shields up, which is a bit of a shame. Yes. But six lances, fours. Yeah. With a lock on. So three. That's tasty. Four, five. Five. And now fishing for some... Sixes. Sixes. I imagine. Uh, oh, it's only ones that go through, though. And yeah, you've got so how many shields? Two get ignored. So three that are going to be his hits. No, no crits. But it's three more hull points. So down two, three, and I'm crippled. Amazing. So the judgment might be scarpering <laughs> this turn. It does, however, mean that there's now blast markers in contact with that escort because I can't yeah. put them in a sensible way. Hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, I could, I could just do that. But, but either way, it, no, no, because it has to go direct. It does, it has, it has to be to line of sight, doesn't it? So, so either way, there will be one in front, on, yep. in clipping that back ship. There you go. No uh, you're not on lock-on anymore. 
Uh, and that is... The end of your gun. That's all the shooting. There's no ordnance. Oh, yes, there is. There is ordnance. There's ordnance. 30 centimetres straight that way. So they run through these blast markers. So roll the dice and on a six, they all explode. You roll the dice. They all torpedoes. You roll the dice. You don't want them. You don't, you don't want them. Is it only a six? It is yeah. only a six, isn't it? No. Yeah. They carry on. But doom How many turrets do you have? Ooh, so I think escorts will only have one turret each. One turret each. So, total of two turrets. Four, five, or six. No, both go through. So, into the first one. Five and a six, that destroys. It does. I'm and then shedding the, escort uh, transports here. And then the, the one torpedo that missed carries on through into the next transport. With his one turret. Oh, nope. no. Oh. On a five six, in the tray. On a five six, oh. oh! And it carries on through the other side. It does. I've got, got a one. Let's put it on the. Oh, where's thirty centimeters from? Oh, directly one. on the ship. So just put it on the other side, right. I suppose. There we go. And uh, one, two. Oh no, shield. Yes, that's yeah. We're shedding escorts. Excellent. Shedding Excellent. escorts rapidly. Well, I'm about to shed a capital ship. Yes. So, so, so you I know. Have no sympathy for, for no. you whatsoever. That's understandable. Uh, so that's the end of Emperor's Children. Oh, no, it isn't. D6 blast markers. Five. Five blast markers. A very important role, I feel. So that's staying there. So one, two, three. You can't do them in contact with ships. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, are they in contact with ships? No. Cool. So I to three. Mm. There's not much left to reveal. They've got one squadron of Cobras left. I'm going to do it. I'm going to reveal them. Reveal them, yep. And you're on special order, so I get to reveal two. True. So I'm actually going to reveal that this was the Sentinels, this was the... This, mm -hmm. the echoes. Yep. I'm going to reveal that this, surprisingly, uh, is the cobras. Yep. A little clutch of cobras in the middle, surrounded by ordnance. I like it. Yep. A clutch of cobras. A cl What's the collective pronoun for cobras? For cobras? Yeah. I think I'm, I think it might be a murder of cobras. Murder of crows, isn't it? Well, it, it just seems... We'll come oh, back with the answer. Cobras. Cobras. No, the actual one. Yeah, like cobras as in... Right. Oh, cobras. <laughs> not actual, not cobra, no. spaceship cobras. This isn't a productive area of discussion. A, a, a shalimar of a cobras. Sh <laughs> a shalimar of cobras. <laughs> well, while you're doing the next bit of your thing. And finally, I'm going to reveal that this here is an attack ship. That one? Oh, no, sorry, Ooh. not an attack ship, a bomber. Oh, squadron. okay. Uh, collective pronoun <laughs> cobras. Cool. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, this is quite good. There isn't... Oh! Beg your pardon. I was going to say there isn't a specific one for Cobras. There is a specific one for Cobras. Uh, so it's a, uh, a quiver of Cobras. A quiver? A quiver of Cobras. So there is my quiver of Cobras. Yep. One of your quiver of Cobras. And then <laughs> I've got to roll a D3 for a squadron of attack craft. Yes. So D3 plus one. Oh, four. And that's at this far side next are to Are they the bombers? Enemy. He's like, of course they are. Why, do, why would I take anything else in this right. scenario? So I'm going to reload Ordnance to start okay. with. With the Sentinels. So they're leadership eight base. Mm. Nine for your orders. Back to eight for being yeah. in contact with Marcus. Oh, that's not the role you want to Ugh. see. So that's that then? Yep. No, that is disappointing. <laughs> they can come and sneak up behind and shoot on the next one, though, can't they? Yes. I'm going to start by just bombing up with these Cobras. My Idolators are going to move 15 to here. There. Now, these Cobras here, I'm going to Wolf Squadron. A wolf pack right into your transport ships. Mm. <laughs> Just completely ignoring the combat vessels. Yeah, because I just I'll, I'm just going to take out your transport ships and then immediately disengage. Seems reasonable. Yeah, deny deny you the win and then leave. Yeah. Before <laughs> you... 
Follows too much damage. Now, yeah, but the the problem is now. Do I let the you know the if you're down to just escorts because it's it's well it's going to lose leadership anyway because it's crippled. Yep. And I'm already I'm going to be leadership seven then. Which is but if it's destroyed and it comes back as a replacement, it's leadership, leadership six. six. And I have to think of another name, which is the main. Well, that's the main limitation. Like yes, though it might just be the. Show them two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, on the second. The budgement of... <laughs> the budgement of Hamon. <laughs> Do you know what? I just need to take out your escorts. I'm going right to go. Bold. Bold. <laughs> I'm going to go to there and turn. It's going to be bad. I may, I may have to do some bracing for impact this turn, I feel. And that's all of my movement, because I don't actually control that much. Cool. Just like, just like you don't control that yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> so... The judgment is going to fire at half strength into these escorts mm -hmm. here. And he's got strength one lance battery. I'm going to brace for impact. Actually, that's going to go into your heavy transport. Do I have the leadership for brace for impact? Yes. Ooh. So I'm going to do, yeah. So it's a strength ten weapons battery into your, or strength five because I'm crippled. Yeah. So it'll be five. Into here. Closing. Escorts closing because you can shoot front arc. Five escorts closing is three, uh, and they're not behind the blast marker. It's going to be a three, and you're within 15 there, aren't you? Probably. Yes. Um, yes, you are. Yes. So that means it's four. So Excellent. I'm going to brace for impact. Yeah, your leadership uh, is eight. Orange, so eight, nine, because I'm on orders. Oh, no, I'm not on orders. No, I you're failed. not. And I'm in contact so with the blast seven. marker. Seven. Oh, you Last. get it though. Brace for impact. So my weapons batteries. I get two. Two. Four up save. Oh. Smashed it. Oh. And then my... I'm going to fire the lance into the Gloria. Oh, okay, right. The Gloria I'm isn't going to brace. No. Cool. Oh, that should have only actually been one dice there because I was crippled. No, oh, no. You can't have both of me either. <laughs> yeah. I'll randomise which failure <laughs> goes forward. <laughs> Next, these Cobras here are going to fire their weapons batteries into your transport, surprisingly. Into the braced or the unbraced? The unbraced. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leadership test for them. Yep. They're only passing on... Oh, God, hang on. What are they? Are they uh, seven blast marker six? Yeah. Leadership six. They do pass. Mad skills. They, they, to be These fair, are some crack they, pilots. Well, they just really want to survive. They do. They're just <laughs> desperately... It's going to lie on the floor. Weapons strength three, uh, escorts closing. So, three escorts closing, and within 15... Through a blast marker. Oh, so two. The brace may have been unnecessary. So, a four does nothing? No. Fives. Okay, my idolators are going to go into the same squadron. Okay. So Do they need a leadership test, or is it front arc only? Because they'll take closest. leadership test. Yeah. Leadership oh, well, that's count. closest. Well, they're leadership Yeah, they're going to ace it, aren't they? They love it. Cool, easy. I'm already braced. So the three lances... I get Ooh, two. Two, so four... Uh, well, a shield on that one, I suppose. I can't brace a shield. Or which one's close? Just take the. Just take the. I, I'll just destroy you, and it won't matter. All right. So, <laughs> so, so that's so, on, the, on the left one then. Well, it's one, one dice. Is that only one? Because I did two hits. You've yeah. taken a shield. Well, but if you go on that one first, it might not be. Do it whichever way you want. Right. I'll put a blast marker. Yes. And then, oh, in the tray. So I'm. Um, so you fail. Oh, and it's one gone. Goes. Escort down. And then we've got strength six weapon batteries firing at escorts closing through a blast marker outside of 15. Yes. <laughs> Say those numbers again. Six. Six escort, escort closing, closing through a blast marker. Two. Two. So needing fives. Yep. Nothing. No. Getting thin on the ground, escorts wise. Here, mm -hmm. four Cobras, which is three weapons batteries. At that one, right, one. that's going to brace. That is one of the leadership eights. Yep. So, nah, no, just eights. Blast marker. Seven, because of blast marker. Loves it. 
So I'm within 15. You are? Escort closing, strength 3. 3, escort closing, 2, left shift 2. So, 5s. Oh, yes. 2, right, so... Oh, well, we've set some contact with the blast marker, so no shields. 4s. Oh, gone. Goes. And you only have 4 escorts left. This is uh, a hard count, scenario to win. The cruiser counts as 2. You've only got 5 escorts left. 5 escorts left. left. <laughs> go, boys, go! So... Are you going to ordnance that one into oblivion? Yeah, I also shouldn't have revealed them. I should have just let you move towards them and then surprised you with them. Because bombers are to be twenty. Yeah, they're also well, they're also ordnance, so I'd have just you'd revealed them. Oh and yeah. Then I'd move into you anyway. In my ordnance phase, I'm going to fire eight torpedoes at these two surviving. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. So ah, they immediately be careful. Oh, shoot them from that one. Because remember, yes. if they contact torpedoes, the torpedoes all explode. Yeah, so I'll do that. I remember they're in the three wide. So for everyone at home, torpedoes always come in the three wide variety. Oh. As of the FAQ. Really? And you put a dice on to show the strength. Really? I did not read that. Someone, oh, commented, okay. someone commented on a video. Really? But, but, Henry. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. We'll always just put the full spread on. Oh. Because it looks like a full spread. Fair enough. And I also like saying full I, spread. I can't do full it's, spread of eight. I decided as of two words ago. As of two <laughs> words ago, saying, saying I like full this. spread. This is my thing now. Exactly. So do you want us? You've got a six over there, do you want another two? Your turrets plus one. Uh, yes, so one turret each, and these ones. Yeah. Yeah, so that's one turret each. Um, so that's nothing explodes. So eight dice. Yes. I think we're going to die. You're gone. Yes. Two vibes. Uh, and then and the other ones will yep. carry on into the next God. one. But roll. Is it for, it's for each torpedo marker that you roll? You go in, And I'll be going through blast markers, basically, before I hit the next one. Because your base was on top of one, but not at the front of the base. <laughs> give, me the, give me your ship. So before those... Before that blast marker yep. went down, you were like that. Yep. So as soon as that's removed, so now I, it, the, the torpedoes hit this There's now a dice marker. for each of... Six remaining torpedoes. It's a torpedo marker, isn't it? Oh yeah, so okay. So it's so roll two, two dice. dice for the blast markers that yep. are already there. No. No. So six go into your Oh uh one turret. Yeah. You don't. Six torpedoes go into <laughs> Oh god. You take it out, surprisingly. Yep, it's gone. And then the torpedoes fly off the board. How many blast markers is that now? Many more. Was it four? That... Yeah, three or four. <laughs> There's a pile of blast markers yeah, there. Yeah, that's not getting removed this game. It is not. We'll leave that explosion there. This right. torpedo here is a friendly guy and moves forward. It's got to go straight forwards, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you position it, because I'm also not worried Is it 30? About... Yes. Yeah. And is removed from the game. Into the ether. Yes. Amazing. Red, go, basically, it goes and hits a loyalist planet somewhere. Yeah, somewhere like, else. Yeah. Well, if I'm coming from mine, it'll hit one of... Oh, yeah, yeah, someone else. It'll just go out of our system and just bother us. <laughs> no, 10,000 years later, yeah. a random farmer is in a random field. That is going to be how the 40k universe ends, because eventually those torpedoes will get to Terra and will just land on the yes. Golden Throne back. You heard exactly. it here first. Exactly. GW, 45 years from now, random torpedo strike. You heard it here first. <laughs> if that's the plot of anything in the future, we get credit. Exactly, that, that is how it works. It is, that, that is, is exactly how it, works. how it works, I think. That's brace. Those two go. Will you move these markers directly towards your heavy transport? 20 please? centimetres towards the heavy transport? Yes. Okay. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> and that is over to your turn, Henry. Yeah. And, and I remove D6 blast markers. You do. Two, yes. Significant. Keep, let's see if we can get rid of that pile in the course of the game. <laughs> it doesn't look any smaller. So, uh, Emperor's that. Children, turn four. Yes. Emperor's Children, turn four. We're going to start with some special orders. Uh, the highest. Oh, let me guess. You're going to do some all ahead falls. Probably not because he's braced for impact, so he can't oh. do. And everyone else is slow as Billio. Um, and th these guys are going to get too far anyway. So what I might do is I might do come to new heading. Okay. Interesting. Double turn. Double turn? Not like the Phil style double turn, but just like a double turn within your movement. What's Phil turn, double turn? What? It, if you went Emperor's Children turn four and then turn five. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. The... No, that would be 
keen. Um, uh, hmm. I thought you said you decided what you wanted to do. So I'm going to do <laughs> lock on with this transport. Oh, really? Mm. You're going to try and shoot down some bombers, are you? Yeah. So I'm going to do lock on with the transport. Uh, and that transport is leadership seven. And base, nothing else happening. Yeah. Five, six, seven is a pass. Yeah. So we have a lock on order on there. We are going to do. We're not going to do a lock on order on Gloriam Tertio. Okay. I'm going to do a lock on order on Gloriam Tertio. Right, leadership okay. eight. You're not on special orders. You That's failed. A fail. So no other special orders. And you've got a re roll from your admiral if you want it. I might do that. I'm going to use that re roll. It's a pass. It's a lock on. And we're then going to do. A lock on order. See, the Firestorms Lance is just a prow lance, so they're not going to do a lock on. The Firestorms are just going to do some movement. Okay. So, movement the <laughs> 15, it can go 10 centimeters forwards. Ramming, the, the ramming speed. Nah, it's just going <laughs> to trundle its way up the board. Um, I will put a little bit of a turn in just to make him not sit on your base. Um, oh, dare you, sir. These guys are still moving through an asteroid field, which was a monumental mistake. So three leadership tests. Yep. Uh, so let's do those now. Uh, so they are leadership six. Front one is a failure. With the re-roll for being an escort. Re-roll for escorts is a massive failure. Suffers D6 hits. One hit. It does its only hit. Uh, but it, shields do count for asteroid fields. Oh. So it gets its shields, but it does mean that blast markers are now an issue. Again. Uh, the second one, leadership six, is a failure. Reroll for escorts is a Loves pass. Yeah. Third one is a fail and is a pass. Okay. So we are negative speed for blast marker, um, <laughs> which is kind of handy because I have to go... It's 25 minus 5, so I can 20. go... Yes, but half that would then be 10. So if I do a turn and 10, I can get... To my escorts... A better firing solution. Away. No, I'll just shoot them that are closer. The idolators. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and these guys, this is going to turn 90 degrees, and he's going to go... Minimum 12.5, but he's just going to go and... Go 15 over there and just cause problems. Okay. Uh, we've got some movement over here. So these are both just going straight ahead. They can't turn. So 15 for this. I will say, and hoping. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> desperately trying to kill those. And this big boy as well, unfortunately, is going to go 10, ten forward. that way. We are just about in the correct time. So what are you meters. going to start with, Henry? I think I'm going to start with... Let's do the juicy bit. I'm going to do the cruiser. The cruiser transport is going yeah. to try and shoot at the uh, the bombers. Okay. So he has, I think, two on each side. A mighty two on each side. Big pardon, he has mighty three on each side. Mm. So three dice. Needed shooting sixes. ordnance. One. <laughs> so he needs sixes? Sixes with a re-roll. With a re-roll. Nope. No. Oh, oh, and one marker goes down. And then you've got three lances from the Gloria. Oh, no, the Gloria's just going to go for the spite kill. I'm not going <laughs> to shoot those. The Gloria <laughs> is all about spite today. Would you like to brace your cruiser? I'd love to. You do I'd want to, to, don't you? Are you going to? Yeah, of course. You're going to brace. Do a leadership test. And I'm on special orders, so plus one. Um, In fact. Yeah, so leadership nine for my brace. He loves it. Pass. So he's braced for impact. So, six lance shots are coming in to... Well, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter yeah. ordnance or, or closing angles or anything. So you don't with, like playing the proper game. No. Four plus with lock-on. Who needed Good. the lock-on? <laughs> that's what we wanted. So yeah. that's five. Two shields and three. Now, if I fail all these, I'm done for. You are. Oh, I passed Two. one, and I'm You're left down to on one, one hull point. point. Two rolls for criticals. Ooh. Oh, no yes. sixes. Yes. Just about. The lucky, lucky, lucky. Limps on. 
trudging its way forwards. Uh, to you're be fair, doing he's, getting, he's getting judged pretty harshly. He's, be, he's being hammered with that. I think that's going to be a miss the next game. Do you want to put your blast markers on? Hey, and there's then, nothing I can do to spite you with my blast markers, no. so you could have just placed them. Yeah, true. Uh, right, so let's do some shooting over here as well. So we have a half effect weapon battery. So strength one from the transport. Yes. Is going to shoot the. No, we'll do that one in a second. We're going to do the shooting that's close, just like last time. The Firestorm is going to shoot the Cobras. What squadron is it? With your eagle eyes. Green. Green. <laughs> yes, and green. It is green squadron. So what not... viewers at home may not have seen in the last episode is that Henry has the tiniest markings to donate which squadron it is, rather than painting the entire hull. No. Or from or prow. It would ruin the colour scheme and then for children all about so why form didn't you just, over function. Why didn't you just, just call not it do. like squadron one and put two stripes? Or like one stripe, I suppose. For what did I say? <laughs> because I'm not a well, psychopath. I'll tell you what, <laughs> two stripes for squadron one is about the level of what you've done. Pretty much. <laughs> well, and the thing is, each, um, each squadron, because there's three ships in each squadron, there's one green, two green, or three green. Which are indistinguishable from the blue ones at a distance. And pretty close to the gold ones, to be honest. So, uh, that Firestorm is going to shoot its two weapons batteries into oh, yeah. the front, uh, the Cobras in front of it. Okay. So, two weapon batteries. I don't just roll two random dice. Escorts closing two. Within 15 is still only one dice. Which is a hit. Yes. And I put a blast marker contacting your ship. Yes, that seems reasonable. So... That's so, contacts in there. Me and Henry couldn't actually decide, or we couldn't remember what... Or we bothered looking it up in the book. Time. Yeah, well, we, we immediately had the idea that to be able to spite the attacking <laughs> yeah. player, the defending player would place the blast yeah. mark. I think, it, I think it's a perfectly reasonable way of doing it, and it adds a, a level of interaction. The Lance <laughs> battery from that same ship yeah. is Ooh, a hits. kill. And it takes out one of the Reapers. At which point... That's the, the first ship kill you've had. Can't rub it in. <laughs> um, so that's going to go there. You've killed a lot of ships then. And I've well, killed I've no killed all, ships. I, I've killed two firestorms, that's it. And then. And a lot of trans transports. Transports? Peasants. Um, Exa exactly. Yeah, literally, probably wagons full of peasants. So the transport uh, that is on Bracer you know, Impact. They're all gimps on your ship. The yeah, pretty much. They're all, all just gimps. wrapped in leather. <laughs> exactly. But that's why the leadership is so good for Bracer Impact, because they're already on the floor and can't do anything else. So they're already... They're used to tensing in, in anticipation. Um, so weapon half effect uh, okay. of this guy, because he's on Bracer Impact. So two goes to one, shooting, shooting the away. same people. The Cobras, yep. so three blast markers. Oh no, um, the closest closest isn't, I suppose. Yes, true. So we have escort closing, one is one, and that's just one. Okay. Does the job. So it takes a shield. It does. And then... If I can't spite you with the placement, I know, just right. place them. Just place them. Henry. Yeah, I like it. Uh, and then let's do the Firestorms at the back are going to shoot the... They're going to try and do a leadership test to see if they can shoot these guys. My instead. idolators? Yeah. Ooh. I know, right? So they are leadership six. You're not in special orders. They, they pass. pass. So we are going to shoot. Uh, it's uh, escorts closing... I'm out of 15 centimetres, so six escort closing is three. Yeah. One as a blast marker, because they are... They are idolators. Presumably. Because I don't think it's only Cobras that are fours, isn't it? Yeah, they are five. Yeah. Um, and then the three the lads... Idolators have two shields as well. What? All yeah. right, in that case... If my notes are correct. Three lances. Uh, that's one not great. But it's one more shield then. Uh, and that, I think, is my shooting, because Gloriam has shot and almost destroyed that. That shot and failed miserably. Those guys have shot. That is my shooting phase. Your ord well, the ordnance phase, yeah. in which case your ordnance phase ordinance is very much your ordnance phase. The bombers are going to go, yeah. Like that? Yep, into your transport. So. Who, who didn't see that coming? I know, out? right? It's a, a surprise. A complete and utter. So the heavy transport does have two turrets. Okay. Uh, and this is shooting these down on fours. Yes. Nothing. None. Good. So each gets D6 hit. We'll look this up. Can I brace for impact against ordnance? Do you want to see if it matters? 
I'll let you do it if it matters. <laughs> well, it, oh, it, it will matter. It will definitely matter. No, by matter. which I mean if I get three sixes here. So there's 14, 14 Yeah, it's going to matter. It's going to matter. <laughs> minus your turrets. Oh, yes. Yes, it will so be. So five, six, and three minus your two, two turrets. Yes, two turrets. So that goes down to one. But that goes down to four, four three, five, and three. Eight. So eight total hits. On a cruiser, it's a six. Oh, it's got armor six. Uh, no, uh, sorry, it's armor five, but I've got six hull points. You've armor got six five. hull points on that tiny little... Yeah, because it's a cruiser. GG. So, two. I'm glad I couldn't find if I could have braced or not. I'll take the two, uh, which is... I'd need a way of marking that. So. As if that's got six hull points. Well, I so did not know that had six hull points. It's heavy transport, so that's why they count as two escorts. So they're two escorts. They're actually quite quite effective for the number of escorts you're carrying in terms of hull points. Yes, but having them in this scenario, mm. why would you not just take... If these have only got one hull point each, because why would you not just take every pair as one of them? That is a very good point, I don't know. Presumably because people don't have larger models than, than those. I do have... Some printed off long... I've got one that's longer than that, one that's double mm. length that's about... Oh, no, no, I mean game-wise. No, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know why people wouldn't do it, because it... I suppose they're... And then I roll for criticals on them. Yes, you do. Maybe this is why. No. No crits. Um, actually... The tide has turned. Go, escort! <laughs> Go, <laughs> Go escort. escort. Go, transport. Okay, so, I yeah, Iron Warrior's turn four. Turn four. Actually, you're on orders. I am. So I'm going to reveal that this marker on this side of the table mm -hmm. is another bunch of bombers. That's going to start the long jump another bomber? Yeah, they're going to try and oh, uh, chase you it's down. It's D something plus something. It is. It's D3 plus D3 one. D3 plus one. Two oh, bombers. Two bombers. They've got a long way to go, but they are moving 20 a turn, and I've got an even further way to go. Yes. I'm going to go for reload. Reload. Okay. With the Reapers, who are leadership. They were leadership seven. Plus one, minus one, because I'm with blast mm -hmm. markers. Yep. So leadership seven. Yeah. It's a problem. It's a problem. The reload to do the same. Lock on, by which I mean reload. Reload. So they're leadership eight, yep. plus one, minus one. Oh, they're not minus one, but they pass anyway. Easy. And my idolators are just going to do what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Now the judgment is braced, very crippled, cannot take another hit. So, in my movement phase, is going to move 10 forwards to here, and then turn and go 10 to here, because he gets plus one to disengage for every single blast. He does, he yes, he does. <laughs> so, I'm going to attempt to disengage. Yep. I think he's he probably He probably disengaged. doesn't. Really? On a nine, we'll look it up. So I've been leadership. I've been leadership. I have. I have been leadership eight because I yes. just left. I've got three blast markers within five centimeters, mm -hmm. which gives me leadership effectively eleven. Eleven, and there's no enemy ship within fifteen of me. So I have disengaged. disengaged. But they very very crippled. Show on. And that, importantly, Not I destroyed. don't have to rename it. Yes, that's the most important step. And it doesn't She's come back at leadership six. So all in all, a win. I don't win. care about that bit. A win. What I care about is Winning not having names. to think up a powerful name to replace it with. That doesn't end in Ferrum. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you stole all the Ferrum I did. That, we went out of Ferrum names. So my Cobras are going to move after locking on slash reloading slash whichever I'm going to get accused of cheating with <laughs> to here. That's a problem. My idolators. We didn't do blast markers. Uh, remove blast markers. <laughs> do. I get to move too. My end of my turn. Oh yeah, go on then. <laughs> Don't you roll it. Oh, I get to roll it. Great. All right. Remove blast markers. End of Empress Children. One. <laughs> what? <Wah, wah. laughs> yes, very much a white one. Can't remove it. It's in contact. Oh with my god. <laughs> <laughs> That one isn't. And that's why I let Henry remove the blast mark. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> right. So these cobras are going to go, I think, a 25 inch move. 
the way of it. 20, 20 inch move. To not land on blast markers. Yes. Yeah, essentially. Because for your torpedoes, right? Yeah. But no, no, because I if as soon as I touch said blast marker, I reduce by five. Yeah, okay. So yeah. then I can't go the full twenty five. Yeah, yeah. So you end up just on and the I was blast getting marker. Super over eager. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I go with the echoes of spite? Mm. I mean they're echoing a lot of spite. They are, they have they're to. E- they're echoing a lot of spite. The problem is I'm so close to that transport. Any juicy which way I, any which way I go gets me out of arc. Yeah. Unless and the only thing you could do would be um burn I can, retros, but I, can, I can't do effect. it now because no, no, I've already no. passed. I'm gonna try and work this out. Right. So the echoes of spite are going to turn and move fifteen to here. And I'm actually attempting to stay within arc, though I don't, I don't think it's, it's going to happen. Difficult. Yeah. It's not going to happen at all. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn, go 10, and use the gravity to, well for a second turn to go another 15. Mm. Because I'm 30 inch yeah, move yeah. down to 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get a second turn round the gravity well and try and come back about on Henry mm. in the next turn. In my shooting phase, I'm going to find my weapons batteries from yep. here into your transport. Seems fair enough. Even just to slow you down um, if nothing else. So, I'm not going to brace because you have one weapon battery each. One weapon battery. Have Who's your comms dude? The guy at the back? Yeah, the tall one. So, the tall one in this one. So they, they got one, they've only got two weapon batteries on that? Two, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, so two versus capital a beam is one. One mighty shot. So you need to pop a shield. They don't. No. Cool. And then in my ordnance phase, I'm going to launch that ordnance. Inevitably, yes. Are they going to... Yeah, they're all going to launch it. So... Are they not weapon batteryable? Yeah. It's, it's not going to matter, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's, it's, right, but it's, it's cruiser moving away. Yeah, so so right, so three weapons batteries. Three capital moving away is two. Uh, throw a blast marker is a right shift, one. Do you know what? The weapons batteries are that useless on Cobras. I've not even written down what, what range they are. Good. I've not even written down that they have them. They've got to be 30. 30. Yeah. So I've got three so got, moving away. Uh, so you've got uh, three moving away uh, with a right shift because the blast marker is yes. one. And they're 30, inch, 30 centimetres away. Oh, it's over 30. That's yeah, it's over 30, yeah, over 30. So one. one. Yay! Dread. And you only wanted me to do that, so you had to roll with the markers going through. That's why it, like, there's one of the reasons. girls. <laughs> you really convinced me. Shoot me, me shoot me! <laughs> so, the blast markers from these eights, we've already measured the 30 inch range. Yes. So they just get in. You do your turrets. Yes. Um, do they contact the blast markers they're going through? Yes. So you will get the one on your shield because I'll launch from here. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. So it's a... Six. So six and eight. detonate ordnance. So six for detonate ordnance on the blast marker. No. And then uh, two turrets. Yes. One, one goes down. Five. Oh, no. Seven. Seven. <laughs> oh, does it go down by the number of... Only the fighters. The fighters that fight some bombers, yeah. do, that's right. So I believe you've got the five for armour, right? Or yeah, five, five so for armour. two. Two hull points, that's bad. And they don't crit. So that goes down to a two. We and are then crippled. my other six. Yes. So I won't go through the... Oh no, they will generate blast markers themselves. Oh yeah, they will actually. So roll for a blast marker. How many blast markers are going on? Two, because I've only done two hull points to you. Uh, right, so blast markers. Uh, are they going to go through? It's just Anyone. one dice, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, the, in the tray. Nope. No. And then your two turrets. Oh, oh half one turrets. More. Oh, half because turrets. Yeah, okay. Half turrets. Do you know what? We'll no. just take off. We'll just take right. off that one. So With all your so multiple dice. Ew. Boom! One of them, and it's on one hull point. One hull point. And it's and not it crit. crit. Ouch! Guess I should have braced for impact, I suppose. Guess That's the so. lesson for life. Guess so. So. And my... Ordnance are going to just yeah. get ready for... 
I'm going to try and head you off later into <laughs> yeah. the game. If it really comes down to that, the last throws of the dice. So, uh, D6 pass markers. Four <laughs> from the clump. <laughs> uh, and moving on to Emperor's Children turn five. Yes. Yeah, I mean, great. So, what we're going to do is some special orders. That's no longer braced. Yes. We are going to do... <laughs> <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> uh, we're going to do a lock-on order. Okay. Again. So a lock-on order. Uh, leadership, no change for being crippled. No change for but being crippled. But they're blast markers. So he's seven down to six. Yes. Uh, and you're on special orders, so back to seven. Well, you're six down to five. Is it six on six. that one? Yeah. You rolled a seven, minus one. Oh, six yeah, transport. okay. So I'm on six then. No, and you fail. Have, and That's you it. Use your re -roll. So, okay. Over to movement. <laughs> movement. So, let's go. Uh, this escort is going to go. He's going to go 7.5. I think he's going to go to the rest of 7.5. Uh, he can't because of the last marker. He's going to land on the last marker. Sorry. He's going to land on the last marker. He's going to. He's he going is to going to go. Suicide. 10 and turn and 10. So the firestorm is going to come up behind the cobras. Yes. We're going to do. These firestorms are going to turn and go 15 directly behind you. And we're do you going. Want idolaters have one shield. I've just looked it up. Oh. It's wrong on Quartermaster. Oh, okay, yeah. Quartermaster's a thing. So we're going to go 10 and a turn and 10. Yes. And then this is going to go 10 forwards. It's going to go 5 and turn and 5. You didn't do two two hull points to the idolators, did you? Or did you do two and they both took on shields? We did two and they went on shields. You might be missing one idolator then. One I destroyed idolator. Oh, no, destroyed a ship already. They might be disengaging. <laughs> <laughs> just, I, just I don't just... think they need to do any more work, to be honest. Um, what work have they done? The Cobras have carried this team. They have. Yeah. Very, the torpedo. I always forget how good torpedoes are. Um, Especially against unarmed transport. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, so, movement phase done. Shooting. We'll yep. do some uh, firestorm shooting first. So we have two weapon batteries into the back of these guys. So it's two. Uh, escort moving away is one. Yep. So one dice on a four. No. These guys. Oh, no, big pun. The, the lance. lance. Also a four, but better. No. I could just roll two <laughs> dice, it would make no difference. Um, the other squadron that's still got all of their big boys in, we have weapon battery six, escort moving away is two, with a left shift for being so close is three dice. Mm. Do you want to brace? Then I can't reload on, can I? No. Then no. Uh, a shield? Yes. And then, and you get to place it just for. It's not gonna. Actually, I'm you can spite me. It. You can spite me <laughs> the with that. Spiteful maneuver. And three lances. Yes. <sighs> the lances are letting me down all of a sudden. Right, six this, lances. Are we just gonna trade wins every game? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I think so. We're That's gonna a do. Good place to be. Uh, weapon batteries. So strength one weapon battery, fifteen centimeters. You... Does get in. So, uh, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be one weapon battery, escort closing oh, is one. So, one weapon battery, nope. And then, finally, the big boy is going to open up his lances, six lances at those escorts. Yeah. Do you want to brace? No. Uh, so, four. So, we have shield dead, shield dead. Yeah. And one left. Which is all you need. <laughs> which is all I need. That is the shooting phase. Uh, I've got no ordnance to do anything with, but th that ordnance can move over there. Yeah. And D6 blast markers. One, One. blast marker, a mighty... Oh, not in ships. <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not going to do anything else. Right, so that is Emperor's Children turn five. five. Done. And going into Iron Warriors turn five. Mm -hmm. So we just realised by moving the bounty tray, yes. that it was in fact a torpedo, <laughs> a torpedo marker. marker within 30 centimetres, so it will reveal and immediately move. Mm -hmm. And it reveals D6 plus one, five, five torps. 
that roll one dice for a blast marker to see yes. if the blast marker takes it out. It doesn't. Nope. So you get hit. Do your turrets. Yep. So they have two... No, they don't. They have one turret. Doesn't do anything. The tops do nothing. Amazing. And carry on through. And sit to the other side right behind. So you need a yeah. five marker. Because FAQ be damned. Potentially taking out some firestorms yeah. in the upcoming round. My reload ordinance here. Yep. And that is the... Those are the Reapers. We've got leadership eight plus mm -hmm. two because they've got a comms relay. Yes. Minus <clears> one because I'm in contact with the blast marker. Yes. They do it. They do. And then my one on its own, which mm -hmm. is the comms relay. Yep. The exact same, but they fail Ooh. because it's a lower leadership. Bad times. Slash good times for me. I mean, the other torps are going to... So... <coughs> do their thing. Turn. Go to there. And just turn around on the next end. And attempt to get disengaged. Oh, okay, right, fine. Yeah, you're out, aren't you? You're a celestial phenomenon, so you're fine. Yeah. So, yeah, celestial phenomenon gives a bonus to disengaging, which means I can disengage. Mm. And just go down by a leadership. The idolators here are going to continue their burn around the planet. They're going to make a turn that's free and turn at any point in their move. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Here. Next, my cobras here are going to go 20 centimetres. If you reload, do you not want to burn faster and get past the blast markers? I, as soon as I can't... So, the reason I've done that there and stayed behind, mm -hmm. as soon as I hit any blast markers, I can't get through those for oh, the blast markers. Oh, of course, markers. yes, you get stuck because it's quite a long thing. So, I'm actually going to go to there with one of them. Yeah, because then you go... Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to fire the idolators. <laughs> yep. So the idolators do their two lances. I'm going to brace. Good yeah. news. Yeah. Two uh, hits. So he's leadership seven. Yeah. Plus Negative one, one. I'm on orders. Plus one. Seven. No. So and it, it just takes you out. Gone. Yeah. Dead. And with, with that, I will fire eight torpedoes into your... Transport. No, oh, gone. Uh, yes. You don't want to shoot some weapon batteries at first? I don't. I don't want to bother. Damn. So, your turrets? Uh, yeah, are two on that. Uh, one now, because they're crippled. No. Nope. You're gone. Yep. And I don't... I, do you know what? And, I, I tried to remove the glee from my voice. And it's a catastrophic damage, because it's reduced to... It's a <laughs> capital ship. So let's see what it does. Eight. Eight is Blazing Hulk. So one extra blast marker. And it drops a blast marker every turn? Uh, yes. And it moves forward 4d6 in each of its subsequent movement phases. Uh, it could get off the board then. Um, okay. How many blast markers does it lose for being destroyed? Is it just one for it being destroyed? I think so, yeah. Just right. for the hit. So one, that's a torpedo marker. One and an extra blast marker. Yes. Because it... Because of the thing, and then that's going to keep on moving forwards. And these tops here move forwards. Oh lord! Okay, yep, yeah, cool. So Do we have. Want... So we've got five torpedoes going into your duders. Two turrets and the bonus for base contact. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's juicy. So two down. I think you actually are in contact with two as well. So you only get one for being uh, base base contact. You don't get the. It doesn't stack up. The thing. tops take out one. One. And it carries on into the next one. Which is then uh, the same turrets. How many turrets out. left? Two. Two left. Uh, one goes down. No. And nothing. Cool. Um, and that's then yeah. flying away for the Into rest the of the distance. game. And that's Emperor's Children turn six. And so, are you going to do any orders? Uh, no, there's going to be no orders. I think we're just going to uh, drift and do what we do. Uh, so we're going to go... Uh, blast markers so down to 20 so 10 and land in the middle of there yeah, with your 2 to there these guys are kind of in the way 
they're just in case you decide to fire off some pot shots, they're going to turn and go 20 over there and they're going to try and disengage. The okay. leadership's six, plus seven, a, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. They get rid Love it. They've gone. They've gone. They've escaped. And the Hulk moves forwards and starts shedding stuff. 4d6. Mm hmm. Hulk moves forwards, 12, 16. Is that not in every end phase? No, it's in its movement phase. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Subsequent movement phases. What did I say? 16. 16. And drops another blast marker. Uh, in and contact then... with its base. Yeah. Oh, and roll on the table again after its move. Ah, that might be a problem, because it could do a warp drive implosion. Ooh, that was close 11. to a warp drive implosion. <laughs> that is, however, a plasma drive overload. Remove the ship from play. Each ship within 3d6. <laughs> 13. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're okay, we're okay. We're out of range. It's just gone. Whew, because that would have been uh, receiving lance shots equal to half the starting ship's number of hits, which would be three. Okay. Um, so that's gone. Um, shooting. So we're going to shoot the well, back of... Well, you've got to move the Gloria. Oh, yeah, oh, big pardon. Yes, it, it is part of the game, Henry. It is, it is. You're quite right. I'm going to do a turn. To... Oh, wait, can only go 45 degrees? To there. Okay, and I'm going to brace. Yes. So... I pass. You pass. The... Firestorms. Four... Escort... Moving away... Right shift to blast markers is one dice. Uh, yes. Yes. And that's just a... It's just a shield. A blast marker. Oh, yeah, go on. You can do it. It don't matter, does it? No. Is. Two lances. No. Nothing. Uh, six lances. The shots of spite. That's what we wanted. So four. Four braces. So that's a blast marker. Oh, yeah, okay. And my brace. He's fine. My brace. <gasps> my brace. And they survive! Oh, and you only had to roll three. You only had to roll three as well, because one was a blast marker. Because there were four. Oh, blast right. marker, four. No. <laughs> Doubly survived. And that okay. is the end of the Emperor's Children turn six. And Iron Warriors turn six, I disengage. <laughs> Bye! <Good> game. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> no one's having big pizza from me. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. We're good, we're good. So we are back after that paddling. Yes, that was a paddling. <laughs> Well, the Emperor's Children fleet didn't get a, a paddling at all. Yeah. The, the gimps in the, the What they were attempted to did. do, yeah. Yes. So, it, well, I think it was the best of both worlds that way. Yeah. You, you didn't get decimated. No. Though you hadn't loaded the incendiary lances Evidently last not. Time. Compared to last time, the, the lance boat is still just as punchy as ever. It's just not setting everything on fire all the time, <laughs> which is what it seemed to do in the last game. And that's my mem overriding memory yeah. of last game, is... Well, the, uh, the Semper K and the choir both yeah. getting absolutely into the I think when there's more capital ships, that ship, if it does cross the T, thread the sandwich. Thread the sandwich. Whenever it does that, it punches out on both sides and, you know, you're doubling the damage out. 12 lands, yeah. yeah. It just becomes crazy. But without having any any frontal weaponry, with only having the lances, if you've only got one side showing and... and Throughout the game, I just had the right side showing all the way through, the starboard yeah. side, not the larboard side. The starboard side showing all the way through, it, it could only do so much. Yeah. But it, 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 it could, could only work. carry so many fleets. Yeah, yeah, it can only carry its uh, its entire armada to Every a certain time. extent. Yeah. yeah. And sadly for you, with that, I gain K to term Tertius. Yeah. I, I, now there's one that I'm going to struggle to say, because how, how do you... I've learned mine. Keter Tertius? No, oh, I don't know. You made it up. You can say it. you can call it what you want, mate. Yeah, well, you can keep Oscar Scum's hope. I can. I'm gonna. I've still got hope's reach mm -hmm. and Clitus Gamma. And yeah, that allowed me to refit the Semper K yet again. It did. So he's although he missed this game, it will be coming back with with quite a nice upgrade for the Semper yeah. K actually. Yeah, you've like got the fifteen hull points with the yeah hull of, points. of now very manoeuvrable ship as well because yes. you've got the uh, the the what they call the plus one. Leadership on burn retros and continue. Yeah, that, which is which is going to be kind of handy. Nice. Occasionally, being able to re rejig is quite nice like that. So, what did you end up going for? Um, so uh, I failed all my XP uh, replacements. I had enough uh, repair points from the various planets to replace all my escorts um, and add one escort to one of the squadrons. Um, and uh, I then went for a refit and had a ship upgrade, which gave me improved sensors. 
So I now yes. get plus two leadership for you being on special orders rather than plus one, which again is is a nice one. It comes into play a lot, mm. particularly when you've got lots of torpedo boats. You're always yeah. going to be on special or frequently on special orders. Yeah, just makes yeah, it a yeah. bit easier for my my commander to do what he needs to do. That reminds me, I doubled down the the paddling in the end the end game. Yes, didn't I? Because I got the skill for the echoes of spite to roll the leadership test. So even when, um. My ba- my barge yeah. isn't on the table. Not actual barge, yeah. but the Semper K isn't on the table. They're re-rolling leadership tests. Yeah, no, I would say it, it's good <laughs> that we're we're alternating wins and losses, which is nice. Yeah. So we're yeah, both yeah. on. We were both on two territories. You've now got the the uh, the asteroid belt, and again, it's a game where well, it was worth a massive one, not renowned, but repair points. Yeah. A mass, massive, massive. Well, you know, it, it just means that we are we are stacking up and we're we're alternating. We're not spiraling away on one person. Well, that is always a nice way to do it. Is, is, is the being balanced rather yeah. than the spiraling? Well, yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. yeah. Hope, hopefully. Well, I want to win next game, but hopefully oh, we course. stay with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> within striking distance. I'd say, well. I'd, I think we will. I think that's how this game is going to work. I think. It, well, because you're going to get two echoes of damnation. Yeah, just so gonna, just, just gonna keep and then, then three and then four. Just more and more. Yeah. And I'm gonna get more lance boats. I'm just gonna triple down on the lances, just pitch up and just lance everything up. Who knew lances were good? I know, right? Who knew? You heard it here first, folks. And with that absolute bombshell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on the next game. Yeah. Cheers.